If you heard that a tornado was approaching, what would you do? Tornadoes can be very dangerous. Tornado winds can be over 400 kilometers an hour and can destroy a building in seconds. One thing that most people wouldn't do is get in their car and drive towards the tornado. But Enrique Gomez would. He's a storm chaser. Tornadoes usually happen together with thunderstorms. So Enrique studies weather forecasts and looks for possible storms. If he finds one, he'll try to get as close as possible to it. Why does Enrique do it? He's a meteorologist. He wants to learn more about tornadoes and why they happen. It's dangerous work. Apart from the high winds, there's usually lightning and heavy rain, which causes floods. However, those aren't the biggest dangers. When Enrique finds his storm, there will be other storm chasers there, too. All these people are chasing the storm in their cars, and they're all watching the sky, says Enrique. So, what's the biggest danger? Car accidents! I've got a reservation in the name of Davis. I'd like a non-smoking room, please. Could you fill in your details on the form, please? Could you sign it at the bottom? Could I take a credit card, please? Would you like a newspaper? Breakfast is served from 7 to 10.30. Do you need any help with your luggage? Enjoy your stay. How much are the headphones? I like these ones. We haven't got any homework today. I've got some good news. Do we need all this equipment? Are there any scales in the bathroom? That's our luggage on the trolley. Is that you with the microphone, Ryan? Yes, it is. Did you used to be a singer? No, I didn't. That's at one of our karaoke nights. We used to have them every Friday. What? Here at the coffee shop? When was that? Oh, about... ten years ago, I suppose. Oh, I didn't used to come here in those days. Why don't you have them now? When Cindy started singing, everybody used to leave. My name's Martin. I'm from England, but when I was a teenager, we used to live near Munich in Germany. My father used to work for a car company there. There was a tennis club near our house, and I used to go there most days after school. I didn't play a lot, but I used to collect balls for the players. One of the players there, his name was Conrad, was very good. He decided to try his luck as a professional tennis player and he asked me to be his assistant. For the next year, I traveled all over Europe. There were a lot of competitions. For the bigger tournaments, we used to travel on Friday. Saturday and Sunday were usually practice days and the competition itself normally used to start on Monday. I used to come home between competitions. She's changed a lot. I can remember when she was still at school. Doesn't time fly? Did you used to come here in those days? That seems a long time ago now. 
What's happened to that Australian guy? What's he up to these days? Murder. A murderer. To murder somebody. Burglary. A burglar. To burgle a house. Vandalism. A vandal. To vandalize something. Assault. An attacker. To assault somebody. Blackmail. A blackmailer. To blackmail somebody. Car theft. A car thief. To steal a car. When Maggie Stone went out yesterday, a thief was watching her house. After she had driven away, he burgled the house. While he was stealing things, he suddenly smelt smoke. Maggie had left the cooker on and a saucepan was burning. The burglar turned off the cooker and threw a wet towel over the saucepan. When Maggie came home, the burglar was running away. When she went indoors, she found that he had stolen her laptop and some jewellery. But he had also put out the fire in her kitchen. Magnus Randolph was a rich man. At 2.30 yesterday afternoon, he went to his study for a nap. Twenty minutes later, he was dead. My name's Jack Lonsdale, and I'm a detective. When I arrived at the scene, Randolph was sitting in an armchair. There was a gun on the floor next to his right hand. There were three people at the house yesterday. Randolph's assistant, Belinda Wells, his niece, Caroline Turner, and her husband, Aston. The victim died at exactly 2.51. Belinda and Aston had been for a walk and were just coming back to the house when they heard a gun. The gardener saw them. When they heard the shot, they ran into the house. They went to the study. Caroline was already there. She hadn't gone for a walk. She had gone to her room to write some emails. Her laptop was still in her room. It showed that she had sent an email at 251. It was a very big house, and there wasn't time to work on her laptop in her room, then go down to the study and shoot her uncle. Everyone had an alibi. However, everyone also had a motive to murder Magnus Randolph. Nobody liked him. So, was one of them a murderer? This is very inconvenient. I'm sorry about that. This is completely unacceptable. We've got no record of your booking. I shall write and make a formal complaint. I can only apologize. I certainly won't be using your company again. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Put on. Take off. Fill in. Cut out. Pick up. Turn down. Throw away. Give back. In 1992, 
a cargo ship was hit by a storm in the Pacific Ocean. Twelve of its containers were thrown into the sea by the waves. Inside one of the containers, there were 29,000 plastic bath toys, yellow ducks, green frogs, and blue turtles. Since then, the toys have been carried around the world by ocean currents. They have been found in Australia, South America, and even in Europe. The toys have been studied by scientists, and we've learnt a lot about ocean currents. However, it is not all good news. Eventually, the toys will break up, and the plastic will be eaten by fish and birds. Many of these animals will die as a result. Every year, 2,000 to 10,000 containers are lost at sea. Consequently, the sea is polluted by chemicals. If we are not careful, life in the sea will be destroyed. Then, plastic ducks, frogs and turtles will be the only animals left in the water. <laughs>